good Sunday morning. Church is in 45 minutes and I am the only one up and getting ready, so I need to hustle with this hair if we're all going to be on time. Fortunately, I styled my Uniwigs upgraded Courtney in natural back black 14 inches yesterday, so I just need to throw it on. However, I have always had a hard time with updos with a topper, and I think I want to try one today. This topper comes with some layers already, and it looks so pretty pulled back. I tried that yesterday, and I was like, ooh, maybe we'll do some experimenting. As with everything in life, topper uh, wearing comes with a good amount of trial and error, so I've sped up this video because four minutes of hit and miss is better than eight. Listen, I know that this looks super frizzy, and you're right. I am all out of contacts. And my glasses always give a weird glare um, on camera, especially in bathroom lighting. So I thought I had smoothed it out before putting it on. I literally could not see these stray hairs. You see all those stray hairs? <sighs> Didn't see them until after I was done filming. Rookie mistake. Um, so again, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do some experimenting. Um, pull some of these pieces down and reposition. Uh, this actually makes me feel like a debutante with no ball to go to because all the men have been called to war. Um, so then here was me thinking, oh, bobby pins. Girl, no. Bobby pins aren't going to fix that. Instead of bobby pins, um, I grabbed a clear hairband. I'm going to show you here in just a second. Just one of these. I think it's like a goodie brand, little elastics. Um, and I'm going to try a bun. Um, I did this method back in college when I still have had all of my hair. Those were the days to try to do a messy bun. I'm going to pick a piece and pull it up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to take another piece and put it up a little bit. And then I'm going to see what I think. <sighs> did you guys notice that my tag is up? Yeah. I noticed in the video here in just a second that my tag is up. I guess it's somehow better to reveal that my tag is up to a bunch of strangers on the internet more than showing it to the lady at church. That's me. That's me realizing that my tag was up and that I do not like this look. Uh, however, uh, even though the bun was a bust, when I adjust the hair around my crown and around my face, I still really like the effect. And is there anything that a claw clip cannot do? Look at it. Look at it and just do a little adjusty just and it looks so much better so i love it i love it i love it i do i do think it needs to be a little bit higher yeah you're right there you go now it's a little bit higher and it feels so much better see that's me going hey not too bad not too bad i do that face a lot i don't realize how much i do that face until i watch these recordings now i have to do blending now I am not a blending expert. What I have found for myself is that less is more. When I have tried to really blend it perfectly, I overuse product so much, and then I end up with a freaking mess. Um, so here I'm just using my Clairol cover-up powder. Um, and I mean, just, just doing a little, and this, this is what, again, no glasses. Does it look perfect? To me in that mirror, it did. It did in that moment. It looked perfect. It's not. And you know what? That's okay. Because did I get anyone looking at my hairline saying, are, are you okay? No. Everyone thought it looked great. Even I thought it looked great because I didn't have my glasses on. This is what we started out with. And this is what we ended up with. Now, this is a major improvement and I'm very happy with it. Not perfect, but better. Better is better. Better. 